Hello everyone, this is Jared Miller. I wanted to share with you guys today my method of approach to practicing the behind the back catch with nunchucks. Uh, it's a pretty simple one that I felt like was easy for me to learn this way, um, and it's helped quite a few people that I've shared it with too, so I figured I'd share it with you guys and hopefully it'll help. So, um, And again, for me, I thought it was pretty easy. Um, it's a relatively simple approach. Uh, for me, I, I found that it was easier to learn uh, the, th the throw from my dominant hand and catching with my non-dominant hand. Um, for some reason, I just felt like it was easier to throw the, the do the throw with a little more precision with my dominant hand to catch with my non-dominant hand, as opposed to needing the accuracy to catch with my uh, dominant hand. So, um, but again, you're gonna wanna practice both sides with this, because of course you can do this with, with both, uh, both hands, so. Um, but again, for me, uh, starting with my dominant hand, what I did was uh, use that to start with my throw, so this is how I'm gonna teach you guys, so. Um, one thing that I like to kind of show with this is what you're going to want to do initially to practice it. You know, again, once you learn it, you can kind of, you know, bend and twist and do whatever, but it's to start with your feet planted forward and then kind of twist your body this way, okay? Um, and again, I'm twisting to the right because I'm right-handed for my dominant side. So what you're going to want to do is start with your upward or reverse uh, figure eights. Now when you're doing this, since my body's turned, when I'm doing my reverse figure eights, the one side's in front and one side's kind of behind me or behind my shoulder, if you will. So what I like to do is start low. Uh, start probably about, you know, around your, your thigh or your hip, whichever is you know, more comfortable for you. I feel like this just kind of helps you get to a nice, uh, nice clean toss that's not too high or out of control. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do, is, and start slow with it at first, and just kind of, you know, get a feel for it. Um, and you can start, you know, naturally throwing this faster to where you're doing two, three, four rotations as fast as you crazy ninjas want to go with it. So, um, but what I like to do again is just, you know, start, start kind of slow with it. Um, the thing that I found for me was to give it one rotation. So as you can kind of see here, if you can, uh, this side does not have the tape that this side does on it. I know it's white. I know it's horrible. Sorry for the bad example on this one. But, um, so this is the side with tape and this is the side that's not. So I'm holding the side with tape. Um, now, I'm doing my reverse figure eights, kind of down low again, and what you're going to want to do is just do one simple rotation, and as they tell you in sports, keep your eye on the ball, well this one's keep your eye on the nunchuck. So, when I let go, the one that I let go of is going to be the one that I'm going to want to catch, and so for this one, the one with the tape is going to be the one that I'm going to want to catch for my one full rotation. So going reverse figure eights, and again, just start slow and just kind of when it comes on to the to the upward swing on the outside of you or behind your behind your shoulder, that's the one you're gonna let go and you're gonna fling it up and it's gonna catch into your hand um, in this sort of fashion. And I'll kind of show you both angles so that way you can kind of see it. Um, but again, just kind of showing you the one rotation. So I'm just gonna start slow, start low with it. And on the outside of me, just pop it up and catch. Now here, I caught the chain, um, but as you can see, this is where I would have caught it. Let's see if I can uh, do another one here for you. So there again, just gave it one full rotation to caught it with the tape, which is the side that I let go with. Um, so now to kind of show you how it looks behind you. So again, my reverse figure eights on this side, since it's behind me. Like that. And then as you see the motion, it can come straight up and you can actually go straight back into the other side in one solid motion this way, okay? Um, so now again, it's definitely important to practice both sides. So what I would do, and I'll show you this way because I think it's easier to see. Um, so go there, again on the outside, pop it up, catch it, and then go back to this side and to start doing your reverse figure eights this way. And again, my feet are planted facing the wall here, but my body's turned for right now. So I'm going upward, again on the outside or behind me. I let it up and catch it. Of course, uh, the ideally for this particular method is to catch it here. You can catch it by the chain, and I'm sure if you did it just right, you could probably chain wind it out of it or do something crazy and fun with it. Somebody play with that and show me the move later. but. Um, but that's the, basically the idea for it. Um, the, the reverse method of that, or I guess the frontward swinging one, I've played with a little bit, but it's a little bit harder because um, you have to kind of catch in the funky grip and especially doing it behind your back is, is really tricky. But again, it's definitely a move that's out there and definitely worth playing with. 
Um, but for this particular one, it's kind of fun because a lot of your, your base um, starting aerials will kind of have a lot of that reverse action to them, especially like your under the legs will have a lot of your reverse uh, directions depending on which way you're going to stand or spin. So, so like for this one that I thought was pretty a pretty fun one to play with is so since I'm going again reverse, if I'm in this fashion, it's reverse. So I'm going to go under my leg. Oh, see, so again, I totally missed it, but uh, let me see if I can try it again for you. So you can kind of see there, I'm definitely not uh, horribly smooth with it. There you go. Finally got it. Um, but so there again, you can, that just kind of goes to show you that any, any motion where it's going in reverse, you can um, swing it and grab it. Again, it kind of goes to show that I've still got uh, <laughs> quite a bit of room to play with it. But again, just again, it kind of just goes to show that training and drilling is uh, super important because it'll it'll fall right out of your fingers just as soon as it got into your fingers. So uh, don't forget to practice. But uh, anyway, um, I thought that was a quick and easy version that uh, that really helped me out learning how to do the behind the back cache. So um, I hope it really helps with you guys. So if you have any questions, comments, want me to break things down a little bit, um, change anything, whatever, just uh, feel free to comment, shoot me a message, and I'll do what I can. Thanks.